With Trace's passion for baking and Trevor's passion for classic cars, we both decided to quit our day jobs and buy a 60 year old van and convert it into a mobile cake and coffee van. Please subscribe and follow us on our journey while we trade at markets, fairs and events alongside our regular pitch at a local farm shop. And we'll also show you a bit of what we do in between trading. Morning! It's another new weekend, about, well just started now. We've had a couple of customers in, it seems a bit quiet at the moment but you never know how the day goes. So this is like the calm before the storm because tomorrow we've got an event to be held at the farm shop and that always makes us, well hopefully, makes us all very busy here, which is great, that's what we want. So um, we'll see what the day brings today and tomorrow. And as it's Moore's Day. Yeah, we've got lots of pretty cakes on the counter today. I bought some pretty edible flowers from a company called Nurtured in Norfolk. Um, they do some amazing stuff and um, I really wanted to make all the cakes look extra pretty today by this weekend for Mother's Day because I know last year a lot of people were coming out buying cakes to take home for their mum. This is a banana cake, it's a different one, I've not done this one before, a banana cake with a chocolate almond icing so it's chocolate with almonds in made into a buttercream and I put some pretty fruit and almonds and stuff on the top. Yeah, everyone's going, oh, you look spotted today. You do look really lovely. I must look quite scruffy this time. Let's get you on camera then. Let's get this lovely lady on camera. It's perfect. Have a new in house barista. <laughs> Change jobs. Yeah. Perfect milky coffee. Brilliant. Perfect. Morning. Yeah. See you this weekend again, but if okay. I don't, I'll see you yeah. soon. Enjoy your birthday. Cheers, thank you. Bye. Bye. These are chocolate ganache. We never know how to say it. Is it bunt? Bunt? Well, I wouldn't know, so, but it sounds, it's spelt bunt, isn't it? B U N D T. I always called it bundit, but I don't think that's right. I think it might be bunt. <laughs> hey, knows, let me I'm know. sure. That's yeah, I'm sure there'll be somebody out there. But it's a chocolate right. cake with chocolate ganache, anyway. Yeah. It is on the top. They look really good, don't they? Yeah, they're nice. The cherry ricotta loaves. Yeah, they're lovely, and they they've got lovely pink icing on them. And flowers. So what do they contain? Um, so they've got cherries, obviously. <laughs> And it's like a ricotta that's mixed into them, which some people might think, oh my goodness, that sounds terrible, but actually it just makes the sponge really, not moist, is it? It just gives it a lovely, like, richness almost. To and it. a it's a texture as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And almost, on some of the corners, it almost like caramelises, doesn't it, I think, on yeah. the corners of the bait. It's something that you can't really put into words and something you've probably never really experienced in a cake till you've actually tried it. I don't actually call them cherry ricotta loaves because I've learned that some people, if it's a bit of a random ingredient, yeah. they, they just, they don't get it, so. If you say there's cheese in cheesecake, yeah. but I don't like cheese, I can't eat cheesecake. Yeah, so we, they're just cherry loaves, they're called. Yeah. <laughs> Johan's here, and um, very clever man he is. Although he makes out he's not for some reason, <laughs> and he's bought us a present. So let's do some unboxing or unwrapping. So do I have to unwrap your present? Yeah, come on and let's let's show us what's in the bag. Have a look in the bag. Well, they look like biscuits and a bit of black something. I can't really see what it is. Looks like biscuits in the shape of our baking bird. Wow, look at that. Fantastic. Oh, 
fantastic. Beautiful. Oh look! And he's made us a cutter as well. That's a, a left and a right handed one. Just in case people want the other side. Because <laughs> we couldn't flip them over and ice the other side. <laughs> Beautiful. And there's that little heart on there as well. Mm. Wow. Well, they are not pretty because it was just a very quick test last evening. I was thinking about this for quite a while. And what I think what we should do is having here the heart. Did you, did you see my one I made for the Christmas the puddings? One, yeah. yeah. The metal one, yeah. Yeah. The advantage is I can scale them in whatever size you want them. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. And was you can use them either just as decoration or some ice. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you very much. They're great. You want to, yeah, but they'd be great, wouldn't they? To cut something out to garnish another yeah. cake. That's, that's yeah, this is what I thought. Yeah. For example, yeah, maybe even a tiny bit smaller or whatever, but just having this as a decoration yeah. on top of a slice of cake. Or yeah. Something. From some rollout icing or whatever. We'll do something with it, I'm sure. Thank you very much. You're Thank you. Cookie cutter. Thank you, Gary. You make that. You're very clever. Thank you. Oh. And he made the cookies as well. Cookies. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh. Are you clever? I'm impressed. You want a job? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, of course. He certainly can. Would you like them warmed up with a bit of butter? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday today. We've set up a little bit earlier because we're having an event um, taking place at the farm shop today. So lots of crafts and there's a wood turner, all sorts of lovely things. And it's Mother's Day weekend too, so it's all going to coincide with that. So we've set up early, so we're good to go. We had a disaster because we forgot our music, but we've managed to sort some out. So we need that bit of ambiance in the background. You forgot the and, music. And no copes today. Can you believe? No copes, no hats. Two days on the trot. What do you reckon? I know, it's incredible. So there we go. Yeah. So we'll show you some of the stalls as they're setting up maybe. We'll whip around with the camera quickly before we open and um, you can see what they're going to be selling. See you later. Can you smell the lavender? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can smell it since I walked through the door. Yeah. 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 We're going to be asleep when everyone comes yeah. in. Yeah. Maybe you really chill out. I might need to sniff that off today. <laughs>
Yeah. Have a good day. Have a good day, Trev. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Craig. Can I get you? Yeah. Can we just take a couple? Good morning. Um, charge all the marmalade because I'm just going to have some of the marmalade. And then two, two, two coffees we just had. Smile, eh? I am smiling. <laughs> this is my smiling face. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to do this, Trev. We need to get the camera right. Yeah. Nice. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and i the future is bright oh, you and i we got it oh, we don't need no more oh, even in the hard times you and i can weather it You can also follow The Baking Bird UK on Facebook and on Instagram.